Delay throws. Delay throws. Delay throws. What they are, how to get them, how to make them sound interesting, how to get them to fall on the beat, and more. I'm Keith from No Label, No Producer, No Limits.com. Let's dive right in. So here in the chorus of my song, This Old Lie, I have some delay throws in the chorus. Take a listen. So I just smile and say, I'll be there in no time. I plan my getaway, gonna leave all this behind. So how do we set that up? Let's take a look. So first I'll add a new track, drag it up above the vocal track we're going to work with, and label it Demo Delay. Color it something that makes it easy to see. So this is my vocal track here in blue, and this is the delay track in orange. So let me put a delay on here. I'm going to press the effects button and type in tempo, and we have JS delay with tempo length. I'll add that. Let's pull down the dry output. I just want the wet signal here, and drag from the route button of the vocal over on to the delay track, and now we should be able to hear it. I'll solo these two tracks up. I just smile and say, I'll be there in no time. So the tempo sync function is based on a percentage or a decimal of the beat. So if I wanted it to go on every beat, I'd type in one there and we could listen to that. I just smile and say, I'll be there in no time. time. But I want it to repeat, say, 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 say. So let's look at that. I just smile and say, say, I'll be there there in no time. time. A little more each day. day. Sell my song. That's right. It needs some feedback here. Let's turn this feedback up so we get some repeats. I just smile and say, say, I'll be there in no time. A little more each day. Sell my soul for the bottom line. That sounds about right to me. But we don't want the vocal to send to this delay all the time. We just want it to send on specific words. So to do that, we automate a send. Let's click on the trim button here on the vocal track. And let's look for the send volume to the demo delay. So track six, demo delay send volume. We'll click here on active, and that also adds it here in visible and arm. I don't need it armed. We're not going to record. But here it is, send volume demo delay down at the bottom of the screen. So let's locate the word say. I just smile and say. So here it is. I'm going to select it just by clicking and dragging. And here is our send volume. I'm holding down Control and Shift. That would be Command and Shift on a Mac. And I'm just going to boost this up a little bit just so that we can create envelope points here. And I'll drag this point down. And I'll drag the rest of this down as well here over on the right side. So now we should have just the word say. I just smile and say, say, I'll be there in no time. A little more each day. Do the same thing on the word day. Take that up to zero. A little more each day. Stay, stay, sell my soul. I got a little bit of the sh in before the word day. It stays, 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 so let's just take these two points, selecting them by right-clicking and dragging, and we'll move this just a little bit that way. Still got a little bit of it. Keep moving it. A little more each day, 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 sell my soul for the bottom line. And so that's how you do a simple delay throw on a vocal, timed to the beat. I just mind and say, I'll be there in no time. So I just mind and say, I'll be there in no time. I plan my
Home Recording in the comments to get more information on the Home Recording Mentorship Program. Okay, here's a delay throw that I added to a guitar track, but it works exactly the same on a vocal track. So I just wanted the last note to have some delay on it. So take a listen. So that delays in time and it fills up the space there in the break and it pans from left to right. Let's look at how to do this from the get-go. So I will add a track and we'll drag this up above our Guitar Noodles track, label it Demo Delay, color it something that we can easily see. Okay, now we'll click on the Effects button, type in Machine and add JS Delay Machine. Series 2 from Toucan, this is the delay that I'm using. I'll have a link below the video if you don't see the Toucan delay in your effects list. It's free, available for Reaper via Repack. So now we've got the delay, let's set it for 100% wet and route the guitar over to the delay by clicking on the route button and dragging to the track. Now we should hear this delay. Let me solo it up. Now what we want to do is automate the send from the guitar to the delay so that the delay only occurs on this last note. Last two notes, really. So back on the Guitar Noodles track, click on the Trim button and Track 72 Demo Delay Send Volume. Let's click that so that it makes it active and visible. We can take this out of record if we want. So all we want is this last section here. So I'm going to select that by clicking and dragging. Then I'll hold down Control and Shift, that would be Command Shift on a Mac, and make a little change here. Okay, now we have the section identified. I'm going to drag this down to zero and drag this down to zero because we don't want this send anywhere else. And we should have this send happening right where we want it. But now I would like to time the delay. Let's take a look at the delay machine in a little more detail. You'll see two channels. I've got channel one panned to the left and channel two below it panned to the right. And they're reflected here in this display. Channel one is green, channel two is red. And uh, we have delay machine set to sync to tempo. Now, we'll go over some of these controls here in a minute, but first I want to point you to the sync section. So I can sync delay one, that's channel one, by pressing the sync button and set it to 16th notes or eighth notes, quarter notes, half notes, or whole notes, or triplets or dotted notes of any of those time divisions. Right now, I would like to sync it to whole notes. I would also like a delay at that speed on the other side. So we'll set that to whole notes as well, but I want this to ping pong back and forth. So what I'm going to do is use this initial time gap sync on delay number two. And what I have to do is turn off the initial time gap here. The initial time gap is the delay, the amount of delay. So I have this set for 1920 milliseconds, almost two seconds. And so the first delay is going to occur 1920 milliseconds after the initial note, after the dry note. And that's fine, but I want one side to happen more quickly. So I can turn off the initial time gap on channel two and set it to sync to half notes. If I set it to whole notes, it'll be in the same place as the other one. I set it to half notes. So now we should have a bouncy, bouncy thing. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Now, I wanted to have a little bit less feedback, so let's pull back on the feedback to about the same point on both sides. Let's pan it a little less severely. Seems a little distracting at 100% left and right. Let's listen to that. Okay. 
Okay, that sounds better to me. Let's do a couple of other things. We don't need all the frequencies in here. We can thin it out a little bit. Maybe bring it up to 300 and down to 5K or something. So that the delays are a little bit thinner. We can also add some crunch or some drive. I'll turn this way up so that you can hear it. Let's turn the crush on as well. That's a bit much, but a little bit of it might be nice. Now let's add some little phase shifty kind of components. I'm going to click on the add button here and add black light modulation from Toucan. So this is just on the delay. It goes delay machine, then black light. Let's try a flanger. Super interesting, but uh, not quite as, I don't want it quite as deep. And let's slow this down to one half bar. That makes it sound more interesting. It's a little much, so we'll pull back. I'll turn up the delay sound so that we can hear it a little better. That just gives it a little bit more interesting sound shifting around there. You pretend to know what you don't know. say that the second repeat so this one seems a little bit loud to me so let's take this output down a little bit the fastest way to get better at your home recordings is to have a mentor I have a program, the Home Recording Mentorship Program. There's a link below the video. Check it out. Okay, so anyway, that is a way to add a delay, automate the send, create a little interesting ping pong effect, add some distortion, some little grit to it, limit the frequency bandwidth, and then add maybe a phaser or a flanger or a chorus or tremolo, something to make it sound more interesting. Now I promised I'd tell you how to make a delay that's in time even though the thing that you're delaying is out of time. Here's how. Now I've run into a couple of cases where I've ended a song on a punch and I want that punch to have a delay throw. And the punch maybe is on an and instead of the beat. So I have Delay Machine again set up to do repeats here on the beats. If I take this vocal where I say the word what and I say it on an and, and how it echoes off into the distance. What, 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 what? All fine and good, but let's suppose I want it to be on the beat rather than on the and. So what I can do is go in here into Delay Machine and turn off Initial Time Gap. Turn it on Sync here and set it for eighth notes. So we're going to delay the first echo by an eighth note, and then the rest should be added on beats. Let's take a listen. What, 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 what? Completely different feel. If we wanted to skip that first note, we would do, let's see, what would that be, a triplet? Nope, a dotted. This is what would do it. Okay, so we're going to skip the first echo. You'll hear it. What, what, what? What, 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 what? Interesting. So you can do so many things with this initial time gap control. If we have the sync turned off, we can control it from here. If we have the initial time gap equals delay, 
it's just going to start the way a regular delay does. It's going to use this value, this delay value, for the initial time gap. So that's how you can create a delay throw on an out-of-time piece of music. You can bring it back into time or leave it alone. Up to you. As always, if you found this information valuable, like, subscribe, share, or comment, or face the consequences. I'm Keith from No Label, No Producer, No Limits.com. Bye-bye for now. (laughs) 